Jackson doesn't give two cents about the Knicks and their success. He is 80 and 166 as the executive for the New York Knicks in year four. And he is talking about starting over. You can't make this stuff up. And so now I have to think about a remedy because I'm looking at some of the moves. And Max, I know because we both got the list in front of us in terms of the moves that Phil Jackson has made. I'm going to do you a favor, my brother. I'm going to leave it to you because if, I, if, 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 if it comes out of my mouth, if it comes out of my mouth and I sit up there and I literally articulate it, the stuff that this man has done since he has been Jesus. the executive of the New York Knicks, I'm going to lose my mind. I ain't going to be able to do the rest of the show. I'm telling you right now, if it comes out of my mouth. I'm not going to be able to control myself because I'm barely able to right now. Hey guys, you're here with Scott Laws and welcome to New Video. Now, it's 9.45 in the morning on, I don't know what fucking day it is, quite honestly. And I just woke up, literally just got out of bed. I checked my phone. The first thing I see was a notification that Phil Jackson was fired. Thank you, James Dolan. You've actually, this is the first thing you've done as a competent owner in a while. Um, I, I'm a huge Knicks fan. If you guys don't know, I don't even know if you guys can really see that behind me, but I got Willis Reed, Derrick Rose, John Starks, and then I got a Chris Stapps signed thing over here. I don't know if you can really see that, um, cause I'm just a shitty vlogger, but yeah, so. <clears throat> But anyways, guys, I am just so happy that we did this. Um, you guys have no idea just how through the roof I am. Finally, we can stop targeting guys who know how to play the triangle. We can stop playing the triangle. We can actually win basketball games. And maybe now Chris Stapps will stay and he won't get traded. Oh, my God, dude. I'm just so happy that we got rid of Phil, bro. Like, you have no idea. But dude, I'm just so happy right now. You guys have no idea. Like, we can actually sign free agents who want to play actual basketball now and not the triangle. We can actually space the floor now, maybe. We can run an actual NBA offense that's not completely outdated. Like, I'm just so happy, bro. This year, bro, could make the playoffs. That's probably a lie, but I don't know who we're going to sign. It, it's gonna wind up being someone better than phil jackson that's just a given because phil jackson wants to play an outdated style of basketball and just he wants every european possible in the draft and i don't know man but whoever it is let's just hope that they can bring in some talent bro like i mean hopefully they can trade mellow so that way we can commit to a rebuild and then we can maybe sign like we could try and throw a ton of money at like Otto porter jr and we could just keep the Young big three if need Kina, Chris Stapps, and Willie Hernan Gomez. Um, but yeah, I'm just through the roof happy that we got rid of Phil. Um, where am I? Mike Rosemba shirt, by the way. I don't know what relevance I had at all, but. Oh my god, dude, I'm just so happy. I can't even talk right now, bro. I didn't even look at like any other notifications, so I don't even know what happened like since then or like. Who the rumors are that we're gonna get but i mean this is huge bro nick's nation nick's tape stand the fuck up um i don't know why i just did that i'm so gay and white oh my god but, uh yeah so that's basically my reaction bro like like i said i just got out of bed i can like do my hair like shower and i just got out of bed so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you're sure to leave a like, subscribe, and subscribe for us. You guys, next one. Peace.